Hi, I'm Mike with Morgan Inspection Services. Today I want to talk to you about plumbing drain traps and the different types that you might have in your home. First of all, what is a, a drain trap? It's basically the U-shaped part in your drain pipe that you'll see under your sink that holds water. And this water acts as a barrier to prevent uh, sewer gases from coming back into your home. And there's two main types of traps. There's a P trap and there's an S trap. Until about 50 years ago, S traps were about all that was used. But because of their tendency to be siphoned dry uh, when you drain a sink or a tub, they were outlawed or banned by plumbing code uh, about 50 years ago. And now P traps are used. And uh, you, if your home is 50 years old or less, it most likely has P traps, but an older home will probably have S traps. And I'll show you now how to tell the difference between the two traps. Uh, you can tell by looking underneath your kitchen or bathroom sink. And if the pipe comes down from the sink, has the bend in it, goes horizontally into the wall, then it's most likely a P trap. If however, the pipe comes down from the sink, has the bend upward and then bends back downward and goes down through the floor, then that's an S trap. Uh, you don't have to worry too much about S traps, although they are prohibited now by the plumbing code. If you just run water into the sink occasionally, you'll maintain that trap of, or that seal of water and uh, it'll serve its purpose. I did an experiment to show the difference between the performance of S traps and P traps. Here's a P-trap. These are the ones that plumbing code calls for now. And you can see that there's water in the sink. And when I pull the stopper on the sink, the water flows through the trap. And once it's finished draining, there's quite a bit of water left in the trap. So you've still got that seal. On the other hand, here's an S-trap. And it's an S-trap because it comes down curves up and then curves back down and it just drains into this bucket uh, to simulate an actual S trap. And as I pull the stopper on the sink, you can see the water draining. And as it's finished draining, there's much less water in that trap than there was in the P trap. It didn't quite siphon all the water out. So there is still a little bit of a seal. But if you don't use that sink much, uh, give it a day or two and some of that water is going to evaporate and you're not going to have that seal against your sewer gases anymore. That's why I said earlier, if you'll just run a little bit of water occasionally, you'll keep water in the trap and you don't have anything to worry about. So in summary, uh, P-traps are the only traps that are now allowed by plumbing code. If you do have S-traps, I wouldn't lose any sleep over it. If you have a sink or a tub full of water, you pull the stopper and let it drain out, then yeah, that trap could be siphoned empty. So just turn the water on for two or three seconds, refill that trap and you're done. Don't lose any sleep over it. Uh, if you do a big remodel on your home, yeah, it'd be a great idea to replace those S traps with P traps. But other than that, they're not really that big of a deal. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful to you. If it has, please click that like button down below. Also, I sure would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. That way you can be notified when new videos come out. Thanks again.